All right, shovel head heat here with uh, got my helper Timmy, but he's hidden. And uh, today I think we're going to be doing one of the last ones of the uh, of the uh, cornmeal recipes that I've been doing, or cornbread recipes. And it's another one from out of old Nova Scotia kitchens. Uh, this book is still available from uh, Amazon, actually. US and Canada. Anyways, the recipe is called spider cornbread. And we have our ingredients here. Two eggs and a quarter cup of sugar. Uh, two cups of, of sweet milk separated. A cup of sour milk, but in this case it's yogurt. Good substitute. A teaspoon of baking soda, not powder, a teaspoon of salt, one and a two-thirds cup of cornmeal, and a third of a cup of flour, and somewhere, yeah, two teaspoons of butter to, to oil up our pan. So anyways, I'm going to put parts of this together, and then we're going to come back to... Uh, to put it in the pan. Okay, we're back. And just in case there's confusion, a spider is not an insect thing you can find in your kitchen, but a cast iron frying pan with little legs on it, like a like a Dutch oven. And I sure would like to have one, but uh, they're pretty pretty hard to find. So, anyways, we're going to put this together. This is to put our pan on later. So you have your your eggs and sugar together. You take your your soda and you put it in your sour milk or your uh, in this case yogurt and dissolve it. Mix it up. That would be your your acid and your soda for for your leavening to uh, raise your bread along with the eggs. And we'll make a mess and get this into here. It's fizzing already, so we know it's good stuff. And one cup of sweet milk. Stir that around. Get all that sugar and eggs mixed up in there, and then we'll add our our flour, salt, and cornmeal mixture, and we'll start get this all mixed in. And it makes a nice smooth batter that I've got to hurry and get into the oven. comes our pan, she's a cooking, in goes our butter, get it all buttered up, might not need all of this, and we probably won't use it because I don't want a mess and smoke alarm going off, so anyway, we'll take some of this out, it'll be good, okay, This goes in here, like so. I mean, we'll work to the big one. I wash the dishes, I can make them dirty. So your batter goes into your pan like that. Now you take this last cup of sweet milk and it's supposed to be poured gently over just over the top of the whole thing Yeah. 
and you don't mix it in and you look in vain for your pot, your oven mitt and we'll put that in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, while we're waiting for our cornbread to cook, we're going to cook our secret chili. Our secret is, we're going to use canned stuff. So we get two different cans, a stag, only because that's what's in the cupboard. So, we'll prep it by pouring it in a pan. Easy peasy. And we'll turn on the fire. And that's it for chili. We'll come back when my cornbread's ready. Okay. So head eight, we're back. We're gonna we'll take our cornbread out of the oven. And there it is. We'll give it a minute to set up and uh I'm off cut cornbread. And there's our chili. So we're gonna plate this up and dish it out and uh, we'll take a look. Okay I forgot. My helper's a little nervous today. There's supposed to be a string of custard in the center of this. So anyways, there's our cornbread. Wow, that's hot one. Anyways, we'll plate it up and uh, away we go. Oh, better move things around here. Down. Anyways, there's our plating. Uh, our spider cornbread with no spiders in it. And our chili out of a can. Anyways, it's time for our DIY dark matter taste test. We've got a few helpers here. And... Uh, we're going to do it upstairs because downstairs is the usual taste test room is not so good right today. So anyways, we'll come back with it with the taste test. Well, we have one taste test dog until he leaves to go see what mommy's got. Anyways, we don't need him. Okay, so now we're ready for our DIY dark matter taste test. And if you can see, there's a ring of custard in your custardy stuff in, in this cornbread, which Timmy and I are going to try right now. And it meets his seal of approval. It's a very nice moist cornbread. Very soft, not gritty at all. But it was a finer grain cornmeal that I used on this. So, it's pretty good. So anyways, that's it for today's cast iron Wednesday for our spider cornbread from uh, the book out of old Nova Scotia kitchens and somebody just stole my piece of cornbread and uh, thank you for watching please check out all the other great channels doing cast iron Wednesday and uh, we'll see you next week It's blooper time. If uh, you don't look really close at what you're doing when you make a recipe and get your ingredients together, instead of cornmeal on the right, you pull out semolina on the left, and uh, you end up with semolina cake instead of cornbread. So, anyways, uh, we're going to have to fix that up. 
and redo it. But that's my big woofer. And here it's properly made with cornmeal, not semolina. I did cut down the, the sugar down to a, a tablespoon from a quarter of a cup. And I raised the oven temperature, but it still took quite a bit longer to cook than they said. But anyways, I'm going to cut a slice now. And there you are. We're going to do a second day's test now. I'm hoping it tastes like cornbread. Yep, it's quite good. Less sugar was, was the way to go. And cornmeal too. Anyways, thank you for watching my blooper cure. And I'll see you next week on Cast Iron Wednesday.